for you, sitting down with the cast of Dynasty, John James, Pamela Sumar, Al Corley, Pamela Bellwood, and Gordon Thompson are all here, and they're ready to talk about some of the, those wonderful <laughs> things that happened back in the 80s and those big shoulder pads. You look good, by the way, in the opening of the show, in those shoulder pads. Thank you. I was trying to channel my Joan Collins, my <laughs> Alexis. You know, yes, trying to. All right, let's start with the heat here. You guys had a little love-hate relationship, right, going on? Yeah. I mean, you know, I in real life or on the, no, on the no, air? No. I mean, on the air. <laughs> no, it was just hate in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding, kidding. Describe the char characterize what the relationship was like, both on and off. Well, uh, I mean, our character, I mean, Jeff was just madly in love with Fallon. And certainly not in person. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pest. And, and, and she was a spoiled brat. And, and there was... Pam certainly I, not in person. No. <laughs> Pam and I, you know, every now and then, um, there's chemistry that happens on screen that yeah. you just can't create. And I, I think some of the best scenes that I had ever, ever done or had done and still today, I think we're with Pam in the early days. We had wow. some really oh, great scenes. Are you chemists in that shot? Did we, can we put that back up? Look at that picture again. This is... That's, yes. Oh, Remember wow. that scene? Yeah. I that mean, is we, chemistry. Wow. That's a little no, bad. and that was about... I mean, that was when I was, you know... She, I wanted to marry her so, so badly, and she didn't want to get married, and then she becomes pregnant, and then... And then I said, well, what am I, what I would, you know, I want to be involved with this. And it was a great little conflict I there. remember the smoking scene. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. But no. what about, what, I, I forgot, forgot about, that. Forgot about <laughs> What about the relationship off camera? Because I understand when things would get a little tough, you'd be, you had a little way for her to. Well, yeah, because we were under a great deal of pressure. Anybody who does television even knows, well, when you start to become the number one show on TV, they get. It's pretty pressure. There's yeah. a lot of pressure, and you're every day, your day, either you're working or you're doing press or you're traveling. And I remember, I remember we were out somewhere out in Hidden Valley, and you just were like, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I took Pam and I said, Pam, please, whatever, whatever you do, if you have to hit me, go ahead and hit me. Take your frustration out on me. Remember that day? And yeah. uh, did you? Did you Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but it was tough. It was really hard, hard work. It was well, hard work. I remember one of the most memorable storylines, though, was when they kidnapped your baby. So, do you remember that? Yeah. I only remember one thing about what? that. What? And that is that, that when I was supposed to receive the phone call, the director of that week's show said, I want you to drop to your knees and throw the phone. And I went, oh, for God's sakes, that's ridiculous. <laughs> and we had this huge argument over it. Really? And or, it was it? And he, and he won. And so I had to do it against my better judgment. And so I dropped to my knees in this overly dramatic scene. And the next day, the producers <clears throat> came down with which was never a good thing. And they came yeah. down and said, that scene is, we have to reshoot it. it was it's just not good. Over the top. Oh, yeah. 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 But, but it did climax on a rooftop with uh, Claudia, Pamela. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What do you right? remember about what? that? Is that the same baby? Did yeah, we have the same, same baby? Yeah. yeah. Don't you remember? I think you thought yeah. my yeah. baby was your baby. Oh. Do you yeah. remember that thing? scene on the rooftop? Do you remember, do you remember right. the scene on the rooftop? I don't know. Of I remember <laughs> everything. Yes, but I mean, I, I mean, she may have been dysfunctional, but she was in a completely dysfunctional environment. I mean, they were, they were all sure, neurotic. Sure, blame others. Blame others. The entire, <laughs> the entire family was crazy. Yes, of course I remember that. I had no idea that that was going to be the final shot of the season until. I saw it and saw that it was, but that was pretty out there. Yeah, well, right. I, I, I just remember a baby being tossed mm -hmm. over. We actually the found the baby. Yeah, we actually <laughs> the found it. We found the baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> we actually found it. Yeah. We found your baby. I'm going to keep the baby. Like, I don't that, know. Is, that is not the baby because no. I the baby. Took the baby home and it was in my basement yeah. for a long time. Oh, that, <laughs> that. You kept the you baby in your basement? I kept the dynasty the freezer. baby. No, 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 no. What? No. Yeah, it was that's, your that's the baby from yeah. American Sniper. This one. I think that's Billy Joe McAllister's baby. This is getting really dark. No, but we have to. But actually, the baby that went over the side was. It was a doll. It was a real doll. It was no, a no, no, no. No, we always had twins. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we oh, always yeah. used. In fact, we did. Literally, we always used twins on the show yeah. in case one got sick.
sick. I mean, and, and well, I think they do that quite often. It, it was so hard to. So I when think I, it was a yeah. doll, but it could have been one of the twins. Well, here, Pam. Well, I just remember with the baby that I yeah, had not had a baby by then. There you go. Behind the head, behind the head. Support it. Support. Okay. I've had a baby. Okay. Have a son. But at the time, I didn't. And every time, every time they handed me the baby, because what they do with babies on the set is they wait till the last minute. They don't want them in the harsh lights and so forth. And so at the very last second, they'd hand me the baby and turn the lights on, and the baby would invariably start crying. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, no! <laughs> so I, I want to get into the romance part. As you look down the panel of men here, did, do you remember any romantic encounters? Which... I remember quite a few. The only one sitting here I don't remember an encounter with was you. Oh, well, here, here. There you go. Go ahead. There you go. You can have them. Here, go. <laughs> well, I was waiting for my moment, and finally it arrived a couple years later. No, Claudia, she, Claudia, Claudia did. I remember JJ. I remember being in bed with you on a set, and they had said to you, you have to keep one leg on the floor. Why? Because you couldn't be in bed on television. You really? Know, in the, in the sure. 80s? Do you remember that? Yep. That's so weird. I just yeah. remember being in bed there was something in the about 60s. It. You couldn't be in the same bed. So with the storylines as far-fetched <laughs> as sometimes they get, you look back and do you feel the show was groundbreaking in certain areas? Yeah, I mean, you can't characterize Dynasty as a groundbreaking series. Right. I mean, it really For wasn't. No, but it, it appealed uh, to mainstream, but it did have... It had its issues. It, it touched on certain issues. It did, and it also it also um, focused on an older set of people as the stars of the show, which hadn't been well, done before. Well, it was also women. older women. Thank yeah. goodness. And it, it was, was also a, a people with a lot of money with a lot more problems than the everyday Joe, and I think yeah. that was part of it too. That we had huge problems, but also I think people enjoyed watching people suffer. Well, so no, <laughs> with a lot of money because we were yeah. coming out of the 70s, which was, you know, an economic recession. And be unhappy. And being yeah. unhappy. Yeah, but yeah. you all had and so much gorgeous. money. God, gorgeous. And gorgeous. <laughs> but you had so much money, but you all lived in one house. I mean, go get your own That's house. Okay, no, wait, no, wait. No, wait. Well, we have one house here, yeah, and we we're going to stay in it, and we're going to step away for a quick break, and we're going to come back, and there's going to be more stories on the other side of the break. Don't go away.